how to write the queries to implement the joins or what are joins hello everyone i'm sukanya from goeduhub technologies and today we are going to see that how can we implement join and write several queries to perform it so firstly we need to know that what are sql joins so join is used to combine columns from one cell join or more tables based on the values of the common columns between those tables a join is a means for combining fields from two ta tables by using values common to each there are four types of join namely inner join left join right join and full join these figures will make you more clear in inner join the intersection or the common part is only been joined of two tables that is table 1 and table 2 the full join completely joins all the column values of both the tables and in the left join only the left side of the table 1 is been joined with table 2 opposite to that is right join in which the values right or side of the table 2 are joined with table 1 here are some sample tables and we need to create two tables naming basket a and basket b in which we can store fruits so we create a table basket a and having id as int primary key and fruit column as varchar and then we insert the values those are id 1 for apple id 2 is for orange 3 is for bananas and 4 is for cucumber so i have created the table you can see here that the table i'm going to create using this syntax and so i have created the table now i have to insert the values into the table for example i am inserting into basket a id fruit the values are 1 and apple and semicolon so the query is okay next what i have to insert is for id 2 orange okay this query is also okay next i have to insert for bananas in basket a and next i am inserting for i guess cucumber is left so that value is also inserted so hence the four values are inserted into the basket a table the next is create table basket b the table name is basket b and having id int primary key as the constant and the field value fruit having varchar as the data type and this is the data size 100 and having constant not null be kindly check that the spelling of null should be any double l so now we going to create the table naming basket b so let's create another table i can use the same query just by changing the name of the table basket b here all the rest things are same i guess and here also i am it is not null enter so another table has been created now i have to insert the values and the values in the basket b the first value is orange for id 1 i guess i have already inserted the values okay so for in basket b i am inserting the value 1 and the first value is orange okay let me check once more yes the first value in the basket b is orange the value has been inserted the query is okay next value to be inserted in the table is second is for apple third is for watermelon and fourth is for pear okay so id 2 is for apple 
queries okay id 3 is for watermelon query is okay and the id 4 the last row in the table i guess is for peer i will check it once more yes the fourth value is for peer okay fine so let me hit this query the query is okay hence two tables naming basket a and basket b the values are being entered four rows in each table and having two columns that is id and fruit now firstly we are going to execute inner join what is inner join this type of join returns those records which have matching values in both the tables it means if any matching value exists in both the tables then it would return the values from both the tables so if i run this query that is select a id and a fruit and b id and b fruit from basket a and inner join with basket b on the basis of fruit name we are doing it so when i hit the query i get to return that the two rows which are having same values is the id and the fruit name we are doing the join on the basis of fruit name so orange is having common and the apple is common ids could be different but on what basis the join is done on the basis of fruit name so that's why we got the result set of two rows next type of join is left join returns all rows from the table left table even if it matches the right table or not it means all rows of the left table that means the very first table all the rows will be returned even if it matches the right values or not so this is the query and we are matching on the basis of fruit name here also and when i hit this query in my command line so we can see that all the rows of the left table are being returned even if there are no matching values in the right table you can see here is null so that means there is no matching values still it has been returned as it is left join coming next to right join it is exact opposite of the left join in left all the values without matching from the left table is returned here from the right table all the values all the rows are being returned even if it matches the right of the table or not and we are joining on the basis of fruit name so when i hit this query in my command line we can see that the right side of the table values are returned and in the left side as there are no matching values so it has been said null the statement is nullified over here next is full join in full join return rows when there is a match in one of the tables it means when there is a match in both of the tables then full join is decided and then it is joined otherwise it could be said it is null so when i hit this query you can see that the output fields would return where there is a match in one of the tables because watermelon is being matched with nobody and so does peer in the right side of the table such as banana in the left side of the table has no match with the cucumber that is the full join of the table next we would see more queries but in this videos we have learned about sql joins and we have learned how to execute all types of joins and the joins discussed are inner join left join right join and full join 